Hello again, my name is Ben Wilkoff and I have another video starring the Asus C302C, um, which I accidentally said was a different model um, because it was my first impression on the last video. And I wanted to give a deeper dive into this Chromebook because I actually really like it a lot for students and for teachers. Um, it is incredibly rugged. Uh, it has these great uh, speakers on both sides. It has the USB-C uh, ports on both sides and charges using not only the charge cable that it comes with that is USB-C uh, um, and is really nice, uh, the cable that it comes with, uh, but it also works with a MacBook cable and works with third-party cords to do the charging. Um, I was very, very excited about uh, just how easy it was to use. I really like the keyboard um, and things like that. But uh, I've got this uh, set up so that you can see what's going on on the screen and wanted to talk about some of the big improvements that have been made just even over the last few days. Um, to allow for uh, more things to run directly on this machine uh, using the Google Play Store. And so when I opened up originally something like Minecraft, uh, it didn't open up in the full window. It was sort of in this smaller windowed experience on the Samsung uh, uh, Plus the Samsung Chromebook Plus, um, and now you can see that actually it does um, open up in the entire uh, in the entire window. We can see everything, um, and it really is not uh, something that I'm worried about uh, it being sort of pixeled in this small little area. You can actually see um, that everything, like where I actually am touching on the. Uh, on the screen itself, that's actually what's occurring directly on um, on the device and on the application itself. And so I get really excited when I'm seeing things really fast sort of happen uh, together. Um, and when I you know tried it out just last week, uh, it wasn't quite there. And a lot of the pixel perfect kind of stuff was like, are you trying to touch in the lower left hand corner because it thinks that you're trying to touch in the in the upper right hand corner or something like that and so um i have seen some improvements so i'm actually on the beta channel uh using this because that's uh sort of how you can get the google play store on this particular device and so if i actually open up uh my settings you can uh see what the actual uh os is so it's actually uh you know running version 56 uh on the official build beta channel so you can see kind of what that looks like um, and I got really excited that there are just so many apps that I'm running on my on my iPad um, that are now available. This is one of my uh, one of my kids' favorites, Bloxel Builder, um, uh, and uh, the ability to actually run a lot of these apps natively is now just super easy. So things like Tinker, which is a you know programming app for kids. Um, it really does function the way that you think that it should. Um, and it works, it works, you know, as expected so that it doesn't uh, interfere with your ability to, um, to run fully fledged applications. The one thing that I still do not like at all is the way in which it shows up as a Chrome app versus an Android app, a Google Play Store app that is running on Chrome. Um, and it's really interesting. You can see on the this Google Hangouts one that's right there um, that it has this little Chrome uh, component. Uh, it's a little icon that says that it's actually the Chrome extension or app um, rather than the Android version. And you can open up uh, and have actually two different Hangouts. So this one right here, this Hangouts is the full Android version and the other one is the Chrome extension. And so just that strangeness of, 
do I want to open it up in the Android version that is on the Chromebook, or do I want to use the Chrome version that is on the Chromebook? And it sort of has uh, some struggle. Um, we still do see applications that just do not install, but it's interesting how quickly they are getting um, they are, are getting updated. Um, we see, again, Seesaw is something that um, that you still can't install, and there are a couple of other ones um, that that we were looking at for for our uh, for our students. Um, and I'm looking for Tiny Tap. Um, so if we look at Tiny Tap, is another one that uh, that we don't have access to on the um, on the Play Store in Chrome. Um, so it says your device isn't compatible with this version. And I don't know what it is that we have to do to sort of get folks to recognize this is going to be more and more of a thing um, and that they need to upgrade their applications to be able to do that. Um, but I have looked a lot at these different applications and things that I, I think are are going to be really beneficial for students to be able to have access to. Now what's interesting is we just had a crash. So I opened up and it fully crashed um, and now is no longer uh, opening up um, those, uh, those applications. Um, and it stopped the <laughs> the sharing of my screen as well. So that's a that's a pretty bad uh, that's a pretty bad crash. And I just opened up an application, um, and so it's not fully ready for prime time in in some of those ways. Um, it's pretty interesting to to sort of see. So I'm going to sync back up here and and try and launch that application uh, again. So I'm going to try and launch that application one more time here to see if we can. Um, sort of open that up and uh, and experience it. It's one of my favorite drawing applications um, that I was using with the Samsung, uh, Samsung Chromebook Plus. Um, but it's, it's not gonna be great if it crashes the machine every time you try and load it. Um, so it looks like it is, yep, great. Um, it is loading it up there. And I just love the way in which the, uh, just how smooth this is. And if I go into tablet or uh, or even tent mode uh, with this, it, it really does seem to be sort of the full fledged uh, system where we can um, and uh, you know start new drawings, do all of those kinds of things, um, and be able to um, be able to create things using this device that were not previously possible. Um, and so because they have really taken a look at the ways in which uh, they can best leverage uh, the Chromebook uh, for a touch system, um, leveraging the uh, Google Play Store um, and running native apps, uh, it's, it's so much potential here. And when I look at all of the things that you can do now, um, we should have uh, some very rich opportunities in the future and I'll keep on sharing some videos. So let me know what questions you have about this device um, or any of the, the touch Chromebooks because I think we're going to start seeing more and more of these opportunities uh, for folks to take advantage of. Thanks for watching.